Hi, I'm Jason Gilmore, Spokes Educator for Doceri. I'd like to welcome you to my classroom where I'm going to be showing you how to use Doceri. So let's just have a look around. Yeah, this is where all the magic happens. Yes, every student always pays attention and they hang on my every word in this room. Look at my lovely 21st century media cart. Isn't that awesome? And with a don't don't mind that cord. And of course, welcome to Doseri. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, so I'm gonna say, okay, everybody, I uh, got five seconds to quiet down before we get started. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Everybody knows that's the time to quiet down, and uh, as soon as they quiet down, they get, uh, I'll get a point. Got it? Uh, so I haven't gone to the computer. That's awesome. I actually am doing this from, usually from the back or side of the room or just near a kid that needs help. Um, now, what I wanted to do is get the, we just started stu studying the human cheek cell. We're, we're, so we're doing science, we're in the lab, we're, we're using the microscopes, and they had a hard, really hard time trying to figure out, uh, or trying to use the microscope and see the, the cheek cells, find them, and then magnify them to a place. And I wanted them to draw it, because the more, the more time you spend with a, with a, the content, that, the more time that they spend with new content that they're seeing, um, the better, the more it is for better for retention. So drawing really helps that out. Um, so he, since they were having such a hard time with the microscopes themselves, I wanted them to have to show them um, some some views from inside uh, uh, microscopes from the internet, and then we can draw it, and then we can go back and try and find it again. Um, at least they can know what they're looking for a little bit better. So I would I went ahead and uh, got a uh, this is a human cheek cell. I just did a, a, a Google search for human cheek cell uh, and then went to the images. Um, in fact, you could do that on the fly if you needed to. Um, I actually did today. So I just made a new tab and I, this virtual keyboard is awesome. So I could just bring that up human cheek cell enter go to the images and there we are um, but I had already found these uh, before so I'm just gonna go to the low powered one first this is and, and then I wanted to uh, have the kids draw it so I wanted them to, they have a journal that they're drawing in instead of using a worksheet. So I wanted them to draw a little circle. So I'm giving them a little format to draw in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to hit here. Uh, that would be start a new project. And I'm going to start. There you go. Brought me to my whiteboard space. So now uh, I'm going to give them, uh, I'm going to give them three circles that I want them to make their best. And like, oh, I don't have a perfect, perfect circle, so what? It doesn't matter. So I, I, I tell them, make sure that they know that uh, I'm not looking for per perfect circles, although I do say you're going to have to draw inside them, so don't make them too small. Um, and then label them, because that's what we do in science, right? We do diagrams, we label, make sure that we know what we just did. Low, medium, and high, right? And there we go, and that's what the kids would see. And I also have them put their date today and label cheek cells. Yeah? And so now I want to go back and I want to uh, bring a, my challenge now is at, on the fly as well, is to uh, get a photo of the cheek cell onto my, my project. Um, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to the internet, and I'm going to go, and I already, I'm going to take a, a screenshot, yeah, and then I can go back to my project, say resume, and then I can go back to my project, say resume, and then I can bring in the photo. 
go ahead photo go ahead bring it in and then I want to put it someplace where they where they can see it but it doesn't really get in the way and just put done there you go so now I can draw and uh, and show and use the photo at the same time um, I could have in imported it as a background but I wanted to have this format to just make it easy for them to see so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing blah 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 put put these so I what I don't want them to do is go like that I want them to spend some time look at the shapes copy them as best they can um, look at how many of them there are uh, what other things there are besides the cell what's a cell what's a dust piece of dust or dirt or a nick in the in the lens um, and then we got we're good we're good to go there uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and now I want to get rid of that photo I bring down the timeline go back to that little blue thing is where they uh, where the photo came in so I'm gonna go back a couple and then undo it's gone but I still have my strokes Isn't that great and so now I'm gonna go back and do that again um, this is for review. I'm going to go, you're gonna, if you want to go back to the internet, go back to your computer, that is. Um, and then I want to go to the medium, what I thought would be close to a medium uh, magnification of a cheek cell. Um, and I'm going to screenshot that again. And then, then I got to hit resume, go back to my project, and then bring in a photo from the library and right there and I'm going to squeeze it down into where it's big enough for them to see but I need to be able to draw as well so then I instruct them how to draw I'm looking at now you can see uh, all the cells and then I actually want them to shade in as well I want them to think of them actual objects. Yeah? And then, so I'm going to do the same thing, go back, uh, sorry, I'm going to re remove that photo first, go back to the blue dot, go back lightly, uh, went, went one too far, nope, sorry, there we go, and take away. Go forward, and then go there, go back, resume my my project and yes everybody quieted down that's awesome so we're going to select multiple everybody gets one point that's it that's the lesson for today I uh, hope you got something out of it and I will be bringing you more on Doseri soon